be a bit of a challenge in crossing those strings and landing evenly on the first note when you hit, when you're on a G string with the you know hitting with the thumb first. So you know if you just just kind of tap along with my foot. Cool. So that's what we're going to be working towards. And so there's going to be the reason I kind of put these muted notes in is because they've got that metallic deadened non-pitched hi-hat frequency which you get on drum kit it's actually much harder talking and counting in the 12 8 thing but one one so we we'll slow it down one 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 high d 12th fret on the d string and a low octave, 10th fret on the E string. And and not let it lock to um to what your hand's doing. One, two, three, four. You know, just like the the Congolese stuff, if you're playing different notes than me, don't worry, you know, as long as they're in the you know that G pentatonic. You know you could use that A as well. We're going to use that A in a bit. So it's, a, it's those notes or mu muted notes. So you might find there's there's less requirement to lock with that if I'm in a slightly different register. It is kind of cueing the rest of the band to respond. That's a really important one to feel where that's coming in. Thank you. 